So you've heard me talk a little bit about protecting your thoughts. What does that mean? Well, in reality, there's so much noise going on. There's so much distractions that as business owners and leaders, we've heard the term visualization. Professional athletes use visualization all the time. So what does that mean to a homeowner? What does that mean to somebody who's working from home? What does it mean to you and I as business owners? Well, part of that is, is setting a plan for the day and making sure we're focused on the right things at the start of the day. Uh, for me personally, in the last week, my days have changed multiple times throughout the course of a day. So I have to reset every couple hours. I hope you have to reset too and take that time to reset, regroup, put the right thoughts in your head so you can weed out the, the noise. Uh, limit the news. To me, you know, if you can altogether, I've talked to my clients last week, half of my clients eliminated news altogether. They don't read it, they don't watch it, they don't see it. At the end of the day, if it's important enough, somebody's going to tell you, so there's no reason for you to watch the news. If you feel absolutely compelled to watch the news, keep it to less than five minutes a day. You know, maybe two, two and a half minutes in the morning, maybe two, two and a half minutes at night, but really keep it to a minimum so that you can keep your mindset focused on what's important to you and your family, your clients, and your business. Uh, find your trusted sources. Uh, lots of news out there. Find your trusted sources, access them so that you're getting the right information you need and it's accurate and you're not wasting your time with inaccurate news sources. Uh, lastly, read the news. By all means, a good friend of mine put me onto this tip about a week and a half ago. There are so many subconscious cues that if you're actually watching the news, the background, their tones, their voices, their um, the noise they make, read the news. It's faster and that way you can get the information you want and you don't need the emotion that they're trying to share with you. Inventory. For all of us business owners out there that carry inventory, how do we plan inventory? Here's a few tips and tricks that we're using with our clients right now. Number one, contact your suppliers. Get a sense from them as to what they're feeling, what their planning is so that you can stock accordingly. I would encourage all of you, if you can afford it, put in 30 days of inventory. Uh, and make sure it's inventory. And what I mean by that is when you're putting an inventory, uh, it actually becomes inventory and then you replenish on a weekly basis the way you normally would. There's no point, point in buying 30 days of inventory and then selling from it in 30 days from now having none. In times like this, if you need to put inventory in, put it in and treat it like inventory is back stock. And as we start to approach the end of our economic crisis or opportunity here, you can start weeding through that inventory. And as we do that, let's work with our clients. You can call your, your customers now too and work with them. Uh, our, our clients now have reached out to all of our customers and got a sense. We've encouraged them to come by, get two weeks of inventory for their needs, both from a medicinal front, from vaccines, from uh, food, logistics, and inventory. And as we start going through this, as we're talking to our clients every week and asking for them on what their inventory is level. And that way we're working together with our suppliers, our in-house inventory, and more importantly, our customers, so that no one feels panicked about inventory. Now, how about inventory in the house? Again, the same rules apply. If you feel compelled to actually stock up the cabinets, load up the freezers, please do, do so. If that makes you feel comfortable. Be smart about it. Be cautious about it. My comment would be is if you need two weeks of inventory of your food and booze, yes, we all need a couple of inventories of booze, don't we? I agree. I have mine. But then go about your weekly routine. And your week weekly routine is about using your regular inventory so you don't consume the inventory so that, heaven forbid, if something crazy happens in the next couple of weeks and you can't get more, you have your two or three weeks supply. So load up on in your inventory where you feel it's appropriate and then just use your weekly supply and go back to the grocery store and use your supplies as you normally would.